How to get started with dog whistle training. This type of whistle is a voice command used when the dog is out of sight. It is a training process that starts in basic commands such as sit, stay, and come. The next thing will be training your dog with whistles. We will show you how to get started with dog whistle training below. About dog's hearing ability. Dogs are like wolves who can hear even the tiniest sound just to capture prey. They can also hear sounds very well what humans hope to hear. Fur babies are too sensitive in hearing higher pitched sounds from 47,000 up to 65,000 Hz. As you observe, cleaning the house with a vacuum cleaner easily freaks them out. With that, ultrasonic whistles will work for dogs. It produces sounds loud to dogs but safe for humans. You can gently blow this type of whistle without forcing your lungs. 7 Steps in Dog Whistle Training The steps below require consistency on your part. Among the other dog training, this could be the easiest to perform. Do not forget to give your pet dog a treat to reward his obedience. Step 1. Schedule training. Not all the time the dog needs to hear the sound of the whistle. Set a schedule when to use the whistle in a consistent manner. Consider preparing short session training daily. You may start with a few minutes on the first day. 15 minutes of training a day is enough not to abuse a dog's attention span. Blow the whistle in times of feeding, cuddling, and walking outdoors. Limit the whistling time as much as possible and doing important commands. Step 2. Start at home. Start to blow the whistle when the dog is calm. Once he draws near to you, reward him. Continue doing it until the dog learns what our whistling supposed to say. Let the other members of the family do the whistle for the dog not to overly at home with one person. Training will be better when started at home. Dogs that are well trained inside the house will be easier to train outdoors. Step 3. Leash the dog. A distracted dog cannot follow commands instantly. Train your dog in a closed room to run away from possible distractions. Start with a voice command and then by the whistle. And when the dog responds correctly, reward him with a treat. Use a leash or head collar to keep the pet calm during the training. It provides additional control over the dog and lessens the time of chasing him around the house for training. Release the force when the dog responds. Repeat the command until the dog obeys consistently. Step 4. Use a verbal cue. Since dogs are more responsive to verbal commands, you can start with verbal cues. A simple command like sit, Stay and down can be your first step to get the dog's attention. Say a basic command and then a whistle command to associate your dog with a recall command. You may do it regularly to train the dog to distinguish basic commands from whistle commands. Begin during the early stage of a dog's life to make him obedient growing up. Step 5. Do it in public. If you are confident enough to your dog's ability to follow a whistle command, Practice the command in public. Make sure to perform the training in a confined area not to harm anyone. The dog must be at the right age this time. They must not be running away or easily distracted, which is a great sign of doing whistle command in public. The whistle command's purpose is to make the dog return to you immediately. Well-trained dogs are better to respond whenever their owner does a recall. Give your dog a treat after obeying a whistle command. Set a particular time to do whistle command in public. Perhaps walking your dog outdoors is the best time for training. Step 6. Treat training. Dog treats are the best parts of training a pet dog. Give dogs an expectation to genuinely follow your commands. Love and affection may not work in the first sessions, but some treats are more tempting. You can buy a pouch of dog treats and bring them during short.